Hi everybody, in this video I'm going to look at creating a salt shaker. So um, if you uh, have never imported an image, you would go to the correct view here and go up to view, image plane, import image, and then you'll bring it in. Uh, you might have to scale that up a little bit. So I'm going to be in the front view here and I'm going to be using, um, might as well start with the top here, I'm going to just use a um, curve tool. So let's go to create curve tools and EP curve tool and I'm going to trace half of this uh, metal piece at the top. So uh, with this curve tool you just have to click and it bends itself. It will um, curve nicely. Okay, If curves are a little bit um, uh, smaller I'm going to keep my point sizes uh, closer together. Looks like I just missed a spot here. There we go. And I believe it'll go right to the edge. I'm going to bring these both of these points to the y-axis. I'm going to press return. I'm going to come back to my perspective view by pressing spacebar. And up here is surfaces revolve. Now I always look at the option box here and I'll reset my settings so you can see what I like. I usually go with um, I like polygons better than NURBS for this, so polygons. I'm going to scroll down. I like quads on my polygons. I also like uh, to choose the count, and I usually just add a zero here to 2000 and revolve. Okay, we have this. If it um, turns up black, I know there's a way of reversing your normals, but just a quick fix here before I add a, 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 a texture. I'm just going to go to two-sided lighting here, lighting, two-sided lighting. <clears throat> Okay, so that looks good. Now let's start working on the jar portion. I'm gonna, it looks like it has about six sides. One, two, three, four, five, six. Could be a little bit more. I'm gonna go to uh, create polygon primitives. We're gonna look for a cylinder. I'm gonna drag out a cylinder. Okay, I, uh, I'm gonna just uh, sh put that right into here. In fact, I'm gonna look at my front view, be sure that is correct. Definitely going to get it to the bottom part here first. Okay. I can um, roll down the amount of size by going to the poly cylinder tab here. I think I said I want six sides. <clears throat> I'm going to um, come back to the front view and I'll go to face mode. I'm going to select these bottom faces here and scale them proportionally to match this here. I'm going to move that up a bit because there is, it does round out at the bottom. So I'm going to select these faces and move these up to about here. Okay. And that looks good. While these faces are still selected, I'm going to press extrude. So extrude is right here. I'm going to extrude this up and just scale a bit proportionally like that. Again, I'm going to extrude again and just kind of simulate this curve here. I'm going to extrude again. You can see it starts to move up. And I'll just extrude this. I'll just, just go right inside here. Made that in a few different extrusions there. Okay, uh, same thing here. I'm going to select these faces going to press extrude and you kind of come on down about halfway. Click the, the blue box to reveal this proportional scaling tool here. Click the blue box there. Okay, so now I have this. Take a look. All right, I think this uh, should have a bevel because if you kind of look, it kind of has a beveled edge and we'll smooth it later. Well, let's do that. So let's go to edit mesh bevel and you can kind of see what that looks like. I might whoops I might bring up the um, find the bevel tab here the poly bevel tab and you can see I can bring that up or down. So I'm gonna bring that up. Alright that looks good. Good and now let's see what happens I press three. I like that even better. And I press three to give it a smooth mesh preview. Okay, 
Now, if I want that smooth for real, because I press one and three, that three is just a preview of what it looks like smooth. So I, if I want it smoother for real, I'll go to mesh smooth. This is while you're in object mode. And I usually smooth two times. All right. This also, uh, this should be smooth, so well, uh, smooth as well. So I'm going to go to mesh smooth. And this one has a very tight pattern, so I don't think I need to smooth that twice. All right, so it's a... Uh... <clears throat> Let's take a look at that side view here, because it looks like it's just a touch off. All right. And you can even look at that top view, and that looks correct. All right. So uh, if you want to get it away from the... Um, Notice it still has its spline, uh, which still affects, if the spline moves, it affects the model. So what we can do is click on the shape, the model, and go to Edit, Delete by Type, and History. And that will disconnect it from the spline. I'll show you. See? All right. I can remove that spline. <clears throat> And at this point, it's just uh, texturing. So maybe Chrome for the top portion.